This is Vancouver, British Columbia. It's the third biggest city in Canada and has one of the best skylines in all of North America. What if I were to tell you that Vancouver is smaller than the city I'm showing on screen right now, as well as this city I'm showing on screen right now? See, Vancouver has a metro population of 2.4 million, meaning it would clock in at number 25 on the American list. And this seems to be a theme with a lot of major Canadian cities. They just aren't as big as people think. So today I'm going to go over the top cities in Canada and compare them to cities in the US to see how big they really are. Before this video starts though, I wanted to quickly ask if you would consider subscribing to the channel. Subscribing helps out a ton and it's just super quick and easy for you. So if you've been watching these videos and aren't subscribed, I'm just asking if you'd consider clicking the red button down below. Thank you. So Canada as a whole has a population of 38 million, making it the third most populous country in North America. Seems pretty good, right? Well, it's a little underwhelming when you compare it to the state of California, which has 39 million, or the African country of Uganda, which has 47 million. See, Canada, especially for its size, is extremely lightly populated. It has just six metropolitan areas over 1 million residents, compared to 56 in the US. I really think this is something a lot of people just don't know. So today we're going to go over the top 10 Canadian cities as well as some other notable ones, comparing them to American cities to see just how big they really are. Starting at number 10 with Kitchener. Now you might be thinking, where is Kitchener? Well, if you are one of the people who don't know where this is, you're not alone. I personally recognize the name because geography is one of my main hobbies and obviously I own a geography YouTube channel, so it's expected out of me. But the common person is not really expected to know this city. So where is Kitchener? Well, it's located on the Ontario Peninsula, around 30 miles west of the Toronto area. It has a population of 522,000, and has grown by anywhere between 6 and 15% every 5 years for the last few decades. Kitchener is the biggest city in the metropolitan area, but it has a major twin city in Waterloo, which has its downtown located under 2 miles up the road from Kitchener's downtown. Now, with 522 residents, it can be compared to the American cities of Fayetteville, North Carolina, or Lansing, Michigan, which aren't even considered that big for their own state's standards, let alone their country. So this comparison starts us on a long line of cities in Canada that really aren't as big as you think, which is the main thing I want to show in this video. The country of Canada has just always been considered to be lightly populated, but I just don't think people realize just how lightly populated it is. So next up we have Hamilton, the ninth biggest metro in Canada. This is another Ontario Peninsula city, located only an hour away from Kitchener. It could be considered part of the Toronto area, but for now, the Hamilton Harbour disconnects them. So Hamilton is definitely getting bigger at 729,000. This is very similar to Des Moines, Iowa or Little Rock, Arkansas. Now number 8 is pretty much the same size, that being Quebec City. Now Quebec City is starting to get into the cities most Americans should know. It's mostly French-speaking, and is located right on the St. Lawrence River. Quebec City is extremely historic, being one of the oldest cities in the country. And though I haven't visited there in a while, I do remember it being a wonderful place. Next up we have Winnipeg, which is one of the more unbelievable ones. Now, Winnipeg is a pretty widely known city. It has a nice skyline and even an NHL team. Winnipeg is around the size of Colorado Springs, which in my opinion doesn't do justice in showing how small it is. Winnipeg is smaller than Cape Coral, Florida, Allentown, Pennsylvania, McAllen, Texas, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Oxnard, California, Worcester, Massachusetts, and Stockton, California. That really should put into perspective just how small it is compared to what you think. Next we have Ottawa, Ontario, the national capital of Canada. Ottawa is the first of six metros over 1 million residents, clocking in at 1.1 million. For its American comparison, I have Rochester, New York, a city very similar in population. Now, even though Ottawa doesn't have a particularly tall downtown, it's still far more pronounced than that of Rochester, with government buildings as well as many mid-rising residential buildings. Next up, we have Edmonton and Calgary, Alberta's two large cities. They're both very similar in size at around 1.2 million, though Calgary is a tad bigger. American cities around the same size are Richmond, Buffalo, Memphis, or Birmingham, all in that lower millions range. The main one I want to highlight here is Birmingham because of the fact that a city with this skyline is only slightly bigger than a city with this skyline. That's mind-blowing. But don't worry because the next one is where it gets absolutely insane, with Vancouver. So Vancouver has one of the best skylines in North America, looking a lot more like something you'd find in the eastern part of the world, especially when entering on the Granville Bridge, which is something I think is a really interesting view. So as I said in the intro, Vancouver would clock in at number 25 if it was in the US, right with the city of Sacramento. 
Now, if that isn't a perfect way to describe how small Canadian metros really are, I don't know what is. Sacramento is a pretty big city, but nobody's ever thought of it as the same size as Vancouver, the third biggest city in its own country. Vancouver is smaller than Portland, San Antonio, and Orlando. So yeah, if that doesn't get my point across, I don't know what will. Next, we have Montreal, which is where we really get into the two cities that there isn't a consensus on how big people think it is. So Montreal has a population of 4 million which is on par with a city like Seattle. Now, Seattle is a pretty big place, and if Montreal wasn't in the U.S., it would be 15 on the list of largest metros, above cities like Minneapolis, San Diego, and Denver. Some people think Montreal is a pretty major city, and it definitely is. But if it wasn't in Canada, it would just be another metro, and not one of the most important cities for history and the economy in their country. Finally, we have Canada's biggest city, Toronto. So this is another one where some people think it's bigger than it really is, and some people don't think it's as big as it is. The MSA has a population of 5.9 million, which is just under that of somewhere like Miami or Atlanta. Now the skylines of Miami and Toronto are very different, but I can't say Toronto blows it out of the water and is way bigger. Which I think is interesting because usually you'd expect the biggest city in the country to have a massive skyline, but that isn't necessarily the case. Before we end, I wanted to go back to my original thought and take some cities most people know that really aren't as big as you think. First, we have Victoria, BC. Now, I have a really funny comparison for this one, because if you look at the skyline for Victoria, it's actually very respectable, especially when a city in the U.S. comparable in population would be Huntington, West Virginia, a city my parents didn't even know existed until we went there. Next, we have Halifax, Nova Scotia, which is only the size of Gainesville, Florida. Now, Halifax is the capital of Nova Scotia, so you'd expect it to have a bit more going on. But yeah, it really just isn't all that big. Next, we have Regina, Saskatchewan, which has got to be my favorite comparison. So Regina, which us Americans may know better as Regina, is the same size as the metropolitan area of Head Hilton Island, South Carolina. Now, if that isn't a funny way of putting it, I don't know what is. Now, instead of disrespecting Canadians more than I already have, I'm going to end the video here. So just remember... Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario is the same size as Walla Walla, Washington. Thanks for watching. Thank you to the members this week, Somnom Woods, Big Pasty, Karen Hudson 81, Stormy Knight, Nikita Martinoff, KMS162, Zeus, Haystack, Benjamin Whiting, Ryan Zevins, Hazev the Wolf, Jake Holloway, JL, Jeremy Crone, Carport, Dominic Psyche, Rosebud4, and Bryson. Um, I want to thoroughly thank you all because you help out the channel so much. All of this is really just extra money that's going straight into my savings for college, so it's not going to a bad cause, it really just helps me out. If you want to become a channel member, the link is in the description below, as well as the join button next to the subscribe button. Thank you all so much, I, I sincerely appreciate it.